Oh, come on. Yes, there we go. Yes, oh, that's a good one. Yep, yeah, that's a good one. Good hit. Well, good morning, folks. Uh, I didn't beat the first light uh, period like I usually do uh, in the creeks and stuff. Had a bit on and 100% uh, overcast conditions. It's raining at the moment. So the camera probably looks a little bit funny at the moment uh, just because I didn't want to bring up my big camera. That would be an absolute disaster in this rain. So we're out here in a little creek and there's one in the little background here and it's a little urban spot and it's literally like five, 10 minutes from home. So I'm really, really excited to see what happens. We've had a fair bit of rain recently, but the creeks at home look like they're starting to drop. So not 100% sure how we're gonna go, but um, it's mainly an explore mission, see how we go. We've just got the uh, unripe banana kayak, uh, just the bashing around all the rock pools and stuff. See what we can find, some small top waters, uh, paddle tails, all that sort of stuff. So let's just see how we go. Let's go. So I'm at the zone now, and um, you can see the big pool here, it goes a bit further up, then we've got some further downstream as well. Uh, water level's a bit higher since I last was here, a little bit discoloured too, but we'll just see how we go, make the most of what we've got. Going to start off with top water as usual, overcast conditions, little cicada, see how we go, I actually haven't thrown this cicada before, so everything's the first for me here. As I said, not really expecting too much to be honest. It's an explore, and a lot of time with exploring, you don't get a lot, so. Looks pretty deep through here. Looks pretty deep. And ideally you want to get your lure right into the structure, but with these flooded sort of conditions and overcast conditions, probably not as necessary. Just need to get something that'll entice them, really. So much weed already, so... Might be going to a weedless presentation here soon. Start the change. Just going straight to a little froggy. Let's get Frog Junior. Just because look at all this weed we've got. I want to get right up the back of that, eh? And a little bit of flow, so generally a moving bait for me works when there's a little bit of flow. I say generally. And I say it every time, confidence is key. For what you're confident in. For me, it's a little frog at the moment. It's going to help me get right up into these weird little pockets. See if there's anything up here. Oh, first hit. I was just saying to myself, if there was going to be one, that's where he would be. Just hit it already. Oh, he mustn't be big. Mustn't be big. He had so many goes at it, that guy. I'll hit it on the way back. He had two or three goes at it, eh? Oh, as if right there.
see if I thought it was like a platypus. Oh, he's right there. Look. As if. Did you see that? A lot of small fish or one dumb fish? It's three or four hits in this little tiny little stretch here. They might be schooled up in this spot or one really keen hungry fish. Oh, come on. Yes, there we go. Epic. Just a matter of time. He's only a little fella, but I'll take that. Yes. Oh, he's gone. Bugger. Bugger. That was a little one. <sighs> Saw the swirl and it paused it, just twerked it a little bit, and he absolutely clobbered it. So cool. Yep. They're up here, that's for sure. My theory behind the frog is, is that generally I would say that this pool is stagnant on, you know, a dry season or something like that. But we've got a bit of rain and we've got a bit of um, sort of flow coming from upstream. So I'm saying that this current and this flow is causing them to key into sort of moving baits. And that's when I'll tend to go for, you know, your swim baits, your frogs, your imposters, those sorts of things that are just moving sort of like a tide in a salt water system or something like that yeah definitely pay attention to that you know you can catch them on the stagnant lure like a little popper or walk the dog that doesn't move as much yeah these are my go-to's that's for sure there is oh no oh, seriously hit it seriously is hook sharp enough? Ooh, yeah, she's very sharp. Very sharp, this hook. It's about four or five hits now on the Drew Frog. I've got a subsurface little plastic, the um, froth baits, and very good lure, that's for sure. But who doesn't love a little top water, a top water bite? Yeah, she's definitely sharp enough. Oh, how? How? I just sharpened that hook and he's come out and absolutely smacked it and missed it. How? How, 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 how? If I land all these fish, I'd be having a cracking session. I haven't even landed one. I was gonna say there wasn't a fish in there. How good. Yes. Oh, stay on. There wasn't a fish in there. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yes, finally. And that's not a bad one either. How good's that? Finally landed one. <laughs> finally landed one. Big snag against all this sort of outflowing water. There he is. Been playing with me all morning, these little guys. Finally got one to stick on that little skip frog junior there. He's not a massive fish or anything like that, but I will take that. I'll absolutely take that. Beautiful stuff. I saw a duck swimming in that little snag too, and I was like, oh, surely there's a fish in there somewhere. As it landed, absolutely clobbered it. Beautiful little fish. Gone 37. 37 centimetres, got his tag up on that side there. Send him out of here. Thanks mate. He's gone. He's out of here. So sick, eh? Like, it's so humid. I can see that the lens is kind of fogging up on the edges here. So humid. 100% overcast conditions. That's why I wanted to hit surface. And uh, you know, you might have landed those ones a bit subsurface if you threw like a plucky back in there or something like that. But the surface bite is so cool. So we've got one, we dropped one kayak side and we've had so many hits already and I've literally been fishing for like half an hour, something like that. So we've got the pool up ahead. I'm gonna jump on Google Maps and see how far the next pool is. If it's a little bit too hard to get to, then we'll head downstream. And I know there's a fair bit of water downstream as well. So 
let's keep going. Glad I finally got one in the boat, eh? Finally glad I got one to stick. I landed all those ones that hit. We're having an absolute cracking session. I'm having a great time as it is. Uh, anytime you can get out in the water is a good time. So, literally only got an hour or two this morning. So, make the most of it. Half an hour, we've got like five or six hits. So, that's always cool. Big swell on it. We got each other, and that's all I love. Oh, there's you go. <laughs> so far away, that fella. a break today. Oh, this hook is sharp as hell. How the hell did you pull that? Oh, that was a good one too. Put my hand on the bloody spool like a fool. Got him? How? That was weed that time. Sharpen that hook so many times. <sighs> Not much you can do when they bury you in the weed and stuff, but they're just swirling it, swiping it. That was epic, yes. That was epic. Oh, that made it worth it. Get in here. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's only number two, but that was such a sick eat. Okay, chill. Downside of not having the net, these things go absolutely nuts. Thank the bloody Lord. I'll go over to here in the shallows. Deal with him up over here. Not much water at all. He had a big swirl on it, hit it. Hit it so many times and I literally just wound it and he absolutely clobbered it. How bloody good is that? I've been frustrated all the last probably hour so I've lost so many fish, I lost count. But um, yeah, this is a nice little reward. Beautiful, healthy little wild fish. A little bit of damage there, probably from the rainwater and stuff, but he's absolutely stunning. Just taking on that little Skip Frog Junior there. He hit it a couple of times, he swirled on it, hit it, and then I just literally, I don't know if you saw it, but I was just, didn't even whine, I was just working it, almost like a muskie that they do in the States, but nothing like a muskie, but these are really, really cool, and um, yeah, absolutely adore these fish, so make sure he's all right, put a tag in him, and then um, yeah, we'll send him on his way. He's gone. Going straight out of here. Very, very cool. Number two has come aboard. So many fish in between. They all landed. If I caught them all, God, we would have had a cracking session. An absolute cracking session. But still very stoked. Nonetheless, better than a donut. Much better than a freaking donut.
Yes, yes. Get out of there. How sick was that? How sick was that? Yes. Yes, number three. So sick. So where I got a hit before and uh, yeah, had one come out and hit it and then literally right next to it, something blew up on it. So there must have been a few in there. And he's just absolutely climbed all over it. <sighs> this session's turned around. Bloody turned around. God, I love these fish. These fish are so cool. Hitting surface Lewis. He's not a massive one by any means, but still a lovely, lovely fish. Oh, no way. No way. I went to go tag this one. He's actually got a tag in him already. No way. No way. Let's see. Let's get the data, eh? No way. No, it's not my tag, but I'll take a photo of that and, um, yeah, quickly send him out of here. There you go. That's not my bling. He's already got some bling. Look at that data when we get home. He's still there, eh? Oh, yep, he's still there. Oh my god. Nice way to start the morning. It's so choked up here. Right? There's literally not a lot you can throw in these sorts of conditions. He's in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, there he is. Look how much salad I got on the side with this fella. There he is. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. It's gonna be a bit of salad, salad hunting today. Look at that. <laughs> that did take too long with all this morning. Oh, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Good one for the creeks. All right. Very fun on surface. Very fun. That one to start the morning. Beautiful fish. Low 40s, mid 40s, something like that. It's an absolute cracker. Beautiful stuff early morning. There we go. Beautiful fish to start the morning. Well, on 40 centimeters. He's got his little tag and uh, send him back to the salad. See you, mate. Alrighty, that's probably going to end it there. Uh, the rain's kind of recited, seeing some blue up in the background there. And uh, yeah, what a very, very action packed little session there. And when I say like I was fishing for two hours, it's literally ticked over two hours now, two hours ten. So, really, really fun little session. A lot of highs, a lot of lows. So, I lost so many fish. Uh, they hit it, blew up on it, swirled on it, that sort of thing. I would have been in the double digits and I also lost my nets so not the greatest in that regard but I'm really really stoked that I was able to get out here and kind of explore this new little zone and uh, for two hours fishing can't complain with three healthy healthy bass and one that was tagged already so I'm going to look at the data there and uh, figure out what's going on with that but that's really really cool and the one that did the damage today was the ever reliable little skip frog there uh, sort of three inch you can see I've got a TT hook there uh, chin weight that sort of thing and as an angler, you've got to kind of figure out different things, try different little um, techniques and stuff. And with this one, when I was throwing it earlier, uh, I was throwing it on a 4 row hook. And now I've been throwing it on a 3 row hook and I definitely got a better conversion rate in that regard. So that might have been the reason why I kept dropping those fish. The, the, the hooks were super, super sharp. 
and I kept sharpening them and they just didn't hook up. So a little bit frustrating at times, but nonetheless, I'm really, really stoked. And just another little spot to add to the list. And it's literally like five, 10 minutes from home. So really, really cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give it a like, comment down below if you've got anything for me. And we'll see you here next time, guys. Appreciate it as usual. Thanks.